everyone, welcome back to Ascended Moments channel. My name is João Lima and today, well, today I will do my very first seasonal top 10 fragrances and of course this is for the fall and autumn or autumn. And firstly, I will name my top 5 designer fragrances and then I will name my top 5 niche fragrances. And I will do this just for you to have a clearer idea of what fragrances I think are the best in each category. Um, so, without further ado, let's do it. Uh, number 5 spot, it's from the house of Mugle, and the fragrance is Pure Havana. Sweet Cherry Tobacco. You already know this fragrance, amazing tobacco scent, one of the best, if not the best, tobacco fragrance in the designer game. In the niche you have Naxos which has similar, um, similar scent profile and so, uh, actually this is not my favorite Mugle, uh, actually I, my favorite is uh, Pure Malt, uh, and, but well, I just prefer I just uh, pick this one because I already have boozy fragrance which I will name uh, in a bit and also in the niche I already have another boozy scent and tobacco I didn't have uh, so this represents the tobacco fragrances in this list pure van and it's quite affordable so amazing fragrance from the house of Mugle pure van now number four spot it's from the house of Hugo Boss and the fragrance is Boss Bottled Oud The best Hugo Boss Bottle In my opinion This is the Hugo Boss Bottle DNA with Oud Pure and simple uh, I don't know if this is natural Oud I don't think so to be honest But still amazing blend um, Check this one out if you didn't Boss Bottle Oud Now from the house of Dior And of course I needed to include a fragrance from the house of Dior and this is Dior Fahrenheit Le Parfum this one right here boozy vanilla this is it has rum and vanilla with a touch of the Fahrenheit the original Fahrenheit DNA I don't get much violet it's very very pronounced on my skin the, the vanilla and the rum it has somewhat musky dry down but definitely uh, vanilla and rum amazing fragrance the, the projection is not the best actually but it will last for a good eight hours easily uh, this is what i get and this is one of the three musketeers of dior alongside your parfum which is my whole time favorite design fragrance and also vache parfum so check this one out fahrenheit le parfum number three spot from dior now Number two spot, it's from the house of Tom Ford and I already, hey, yesterday I reviewed this one. Tom Ford for Man Extreme, check the review. If you didn't, this is very unique, this is dark, it's fruity, it's very elegant, perfect gentleman fragrance, at least in the design realm. Check this one out, perfect for the fall and winter too, but especially fall. Tom Ford for Man Extreme. Number two. Now, number one. After Dior, Tom Ford, Mugli. What fragrance is in my number one? It's from the house of Lalique. And the fragrance is Ancre Noir à l'Extrême. This one right here. This one, it's it has such a great quality and it's very very inexpensive I mean you can purchase this bottle for what 30 40 dollars or 30 40 euros and the quality and the packaging is it's worth at least double um, this is niche quality this I can say it has niche quality this is for vetiver lovers this has smoke uh, it's vetiver it's dark woods it's a bit resinous it's perfect for the fall at least hey you can see even for the color of the scent it's dark brown the wood cap perfect for the fall number one la licon crenoir à l'extrême for the fall in the designer category now these were my five or my top five designer fragrances now let's go for the niche category 
and on a number five spot it's from the house of Nishane and this is my favorite from the Nishane line at least as of right now fan your flames this is incredible this is rum this is coconut this is tobacco and tonka this is the, the main notes that I get with an ambery uh, chord this is the perfect transition from summer to autumn actually because uh, you have the coconut and the rum that takes you to your summer holiday vacation thing and then you have the tobacco the the tonka bean that well it's preparing you for the fall and winter I love the rum and coconut here it smells so natural and then the tobacco and then the, you have this ambery accord that surrounds the fragrance simply beautiful very addictive and very long lasting as well Nishane Fan Your Flames my number five number four it's from the house of Etilie Cologne and it's Café Tuba Rosa I already did a unboxing and first impressions of this fragrance check it out if you didn't yet this is perfect this for me, it's a Noir de Noir from Tom Ford with coffee. I, this is simply the best coffee note, coffee note that I smelled so far. I still need to smell a follow from kerosene, but for now, Café Tuberosa, oh, beautiful coffee with this cacao and rose. I don't get much tuberose, more the rose. The rose is more pronounced. So addictive, very good morning in my opinion, cozy. Perfect for fall. Café Tube Rosa by Etilie Cologne. Number four spot. Number three spot, it's from the house of Amouage and it's actually quite underrated in the Amouage house and it is Journeyman. This one right here. This, uh, I also have a unboxing and first impression of this fragrance and this is Incense, a typical incense from Amouage, leather, tobacco leaf, and also peppery. Very peppery in the opening and very spicy. And then comes the incense, the leather, the tobacco. It's incredible. And it also has like a uh, pine tree vibe. May I think it's from the juniper. Perfect for the fall and winter too, but mostly fall screams fall and from in the amouage this is quite mass appealing actually I mean I mean it's not as mass appealing as reflection man is for example but it's mass appealing it's in the middle uh, it's not too mass appealing but it's also not too daring so check this one out journeyman it's my number three now number two from Andy Tower the king of amber L'air du désert marocain. Here, this one. This is my favorite amber base scent. Hands down. Uh, I think this is the king of amber, like I told you. Dry amber, dry spicy amber. Wow, so beautiful. So this this is a masterpiece right here. This is very artistic. Uh, you will not get an, a lot of compliments with this one, at least for me. I, it's not that I care much about them, but of course I always like to get compliments here and there from time to time, who doesn't? Uh, but this one for sure will not get you that amount of attention. Well, the only attention you can get is that this is very different. Uh, so there's that. And very unique for Amber Bay scent. Andy Tower, beautiful for the fall season. L'air du désert marocain. Now, number one. It's from the house of Serjov from the Casa Morati line. And it is 1888. I mean, this fragrance right here, it's very, again, very underrated uh, from Serjov and from the Casa Morati line. Uh, as you can see, this bottle is dark brown, so just by that, fall all the way up. And this has it all. It's amber, it has a floral touch with the carnation, it's woody, has sun sandalwood, 
has birch, slightly creamy, it's dark, it's masculine, amazing performance, either projection and longevity, perfect for the fall. Casa Morati 1888 from Surjov, beautiful fragrance, very unique. And I consider this one and Lita the best from this line of Surjov. Check this one if you didn't, 1888. So guys, this is my top 10 fall or autumn fragrances. I hope you enjoyed and tell me in the comments what is your favorite or your favorite fall fragrances. Uh, let me know and also let me know what you thought or what, what are your thoughts uh, about my list. Hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video. Take care guys. Ciao.